down some leather that we had just cut out from a uh, circle and this will be turned into a hammer thong for one of our holsters and pretty soon here Matthew's going to take this strip and he'll have it all braided. Got to first narrow it up once I'm done splitting it though. That way we have a consistent thickness. Split. Our leather has now been split down after we cut it into one long lace on, out of a circle. And now we can go back through and resize it so that it's a uniform thickness. This gives a tighter and more uniform braid when braiding a hammer thong or lariat or rietta. What I have here is I have two pieces. I have folded them half. They've already been split down to an even thickness and an even width. And we're gonna do a four strand round braid. First I make an X with two of the strands, two of my tails. I go underneath two between my last one. I go up and cross over. Now when I'm starting, this is probably the hardest point to see what's going on, if I can get the leather to actually cooperate. So let's see if we can get this started and then I can show you. And if you wanna do this braid yourself, you can. There, now, it'll go. now I can get it to go. All right. So we got four strands. Furthest one back goes underneath between these two, crosses over to create an X. Furthest one up, underneath, between my other sides two, and create an X. And this just keeps going on until I get a desired length. This can be done to, for many applications. Pretty quick here, we'll go through. We'll make it wet. We'll hammer it to finish it off. A lot of people don't realize or remember you have to hammer it down to get the full round, whether it be rawhide or leather when braiding a round braid. Each time I make an X, I grab my new tail and I give it a little tug. This ensures that you have a consistent, uniform braid. And when you get to the end, Leave yourself enough room to tie it off. There's a lot of ways to tie it off, but we're gonna tie this one off with a button and we'll show how to do that in a little bit. Wrap them around and tie them off with a little piece of tape. Good. The next step is to round it with a hammer. First thing I do, this one's made out of carving leather, is I make it wet. And smooth face shoer's hammer or a chasing hammer. Just beat the living hooey out of it. 
get all the uh, strands to smash into the one below it. Next step is just a block of wood and sometimes it takes a little more but get it to roll a little bit and work your way up and down the strand and this helps to give it a, a consistent round. And there you have it. All right, so we've unbranded our uh, piece of lace here so that we have the proper length for our hammer thong. And now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do a square braid, folding the ends over, create a box. Now I've already done this once and I goofed up the direction I went with my tails. So now we're gonna do this the right way. And as you come around, you'll notice that your tails are all pointing in a certain direction. I can go backwards or I can go forward. We're gonna wrap it around forward and this is gonna continue a braided look to create a button. I go forward, around a post, and I'm gonna go under two laces and into the center square. So we're gonna pull that through. The next one, we go under, pull it through. And this one, we got two, go under, pull it through so now you got kind of a braided look going on now my top here I grab my tails and if you get it's a little bit of finagling but you pull them all tight and they lock up on each other creating a tight square around your tails work around it a couple times if you have to continuing to tighten them and pull your tails around. You'll end up with an ugly looking little clover. Grab the middle tails, pull each one individually snug, grab them all, pull them tight, and now you have a braided button. Pull it up. in and you have a Lobo style hammer thong.